What's up everybody, this is the fourth here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an actually filthy wobble base using only FL Studio and Citrus. Okay, now the first thing you're going to want to do is, of course, add in your Citrus. Then put that on the default setting. Now, real quick, I'm just going to show you the basics of making any wobble base. And to make it a base, um, bring the main pitch all the way down. And then take this down to 1 as well. Make sure it's an operator 1. And then I'll just use a square real quick. Okay. Now in order to filter the square inside of the citrus, you have to take operator 1 to out off, and then put operator 1 in to filter 1, and filter 1 to out. So you can hear it's now filtered. And what makes it wobble is changing the cutoff frequency. And you can either make an automation clip of that if you want, but the easier way is to go into the cut, then LFO and open state file one bar triangle turn off global put this all the way up and you know increase the speed so that's your basic wobble base now what makes a filthy wobble base filthy is playing around with everything you do before the filter the filter settings and then what you do after the filter. And there are a lot of different ways you can do that. You can layer different types of waves in your filter. You can use FM synthesis. You can distort stuff and all that kind of stuff. So let me reset everything. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is go into the oscillator harmonics. And to get a really like filthy kind of bass, you're going to want a harmonic rich oscillator. So, I'm just going to draw in kind of whatever shape. Okay, it sounds pretty bad right now, so um, what, what you have to do is change the phases of each harmonic. So I'm going to go in here and just randomize phases real quick. It sounds a lot better already. So it, like you can hear it sounds kind of metallic. And that's really good for nasty wobble basses. So now I want to distort that some. So I'm going to put it in to filter 1, and then filter 1 to out. But I need to turn the filter off because it's still wobbling. Okay, now turn on the wave shaper. And that's your distortion inside of Citrus. And you can play with the amp mix, and then also the um, shape of the wave shaper. Um, I guess that's fine. It could be better, but uh, for this tutorial, that's good enough. Then turn off filter one to out and do the next knob all the way up. So now filter 1 is going to be going through filter 2. And then I'm just going to um, copy the cut alpha settings and paste it into the cut alpha settings of filter 2. And then, 
I'm gonna link the selected channels to this track. And put on a bit crusher just to see like if it makes it sound any filthier or not. I don't really care for the bit crusher on this particular one. But you can, you know, distort it some. And you know, just play around with it from that point, and you can get a really nasty sounding wobble bass. Um, you know, even layer other oscillators, or change the wave shape settings. But like I said, you know, just play around with everything. Um, play around with distortion before and after the filter. All that good stuff. And you should be making pretty nasty wobble basses. So yeah, hope you like the tutorial. Um, cheers. <laughs>